It appears that all of us, including me, will pretend like we are harmless. Good, you are not supposed to harm anyone. Excellent, you should have subsided your urge to compete. Good, it's better not to try and win. You see, you don't want to be extreme in aggression. You do not want to be too much of an enthusiast. You do not want to have the same limiting syndrome and so forth. It's like, no, wrong. You have to be a soldier. Well, a complete soldier. And then you need to learn to harness it. One cannot respect oneself until one has grown these mental teeth. And when you grow those teeth, you understand that you are dangerous. You start making demands upon yourself to be successful. You stop longing, stop hoping, stop wishing that something will turn out right, you will make it turn out right. And so, you start walking in a manner suggesting that you mean business and that business involves success. I will not quit. I will understand what is happening here. I will devise a strategy and I will implement it. I'm going to go get it because I'm made to do it. If you are after something and you say I am going to do it, do yourself a favor and do not lie to yourself. If you tell that thing I'm here just like you're here, I promise you, I ain't leaving without the degree. I will not leave without that goal. I will not leave without that dream. I will not leave this university. I will not leave this job. I will not leave this client. I will not leave this opportunity until I'm successful. And you can't go back to that same old mindset. You've got to focus on this new day, this new mindset, these new goals. You can do it because that warrior inside of you won't give up. That warrior inside of you won't give in. That warrior inside of you won't throw in the towel. In fact, that is the worst thing a person can do. The people that win in life are those who get to play rather than defend. Stop backing into everything. Stand up, bend your knees a bit. Walk in a few different ways. Start being the better person that you have been all along. You can do it in your quiet way. You can do it the... In fact, that is the worst thing a person can do. The people that win in life are those who get to play rather than defend. Stop backing into everything. Stand up. Bend your knees a bit. Walk in a few different ways. Start being the better person that you have been all along. You can do it in your quiet way. You can do it. You can go about it in a calm manner. Even though this may be done in a calm manner. There has to be the factor of Ren of making the people look at you and say, okay, I won't mess with that one dot there. Has to be the effort where the world knows now. Don't come for me so there is a need to cultivate bulldog tenacity. There should also be some inner courage within you. The only way to get that inner courage is to train yourself to be inner courageous. And you have to train yourself not to be inner courageous by quitting each time you feel inner courageous. By quitting each time you feel tired. By giving in each time it is painful. It is in everyone. That is why people do not make it. They do not make it because they always quit trying when things get difficult. You know how it is that way right now it is spoon feeding an infant to them. Hey, it's really hard now. Hey, they were saying bad things about me. I'm too weak. I feel tired, but this is not how life gives a hoot whether you are tired. You have got to get about that job now. You want to be successful? You've got to get at it. We're going to stop all this soft SAT and all that mess, man. You've got to get at it. You've got to tear their mouth out. When you go out there, I need you to have that warrior mentality. When you get out there, it's kill or be killed. When you get out there, whatever you can get, go get it because they're going to get it before you and they ain't going to give it to you. So you go out there and get what's yours. A true warrior's mentality is when you're willing to forgo rest, forgo comfort, forgo personal desires, whatever it takes to be better than you were yesterday. And don't you ever ignore that every time you think to throw in the towel, think of all the hours and days which you once laid out towards getting to this end. Only then shall you be able to get a firm grasp of the thing and not let it go. You are going to have to struggle and struggle for as long as it takes, even if you are tired of doing it. Whatever comes to whatever, I am ready to do whatever actions are obstructed away from me to reach this awful place, to cross over, to get through this. I will not be stopped. Nothing will prevent. There's something that you want and it's driving you. Then there's no limit to what you can do. And it does not matter what it is until. But when you do the best that you can, if that is still not the best, then you must do what must be done. Nor should you abandon hope in yourself. Nor shall you surrender so easily. The majority of participants start giving up right on the one yard line. Life can be quite brutal and therefore things will occur that may depress or demotivate you at some point. Never cease to look up or to exude self-confidence deep within that whatever happens you will overcome it. No, you have to 
take it and say, no matter what, I will do it. And no one will prevent me from doing that. Therefore, you have to be so aggressive that you are constantly on the hunt for how to get around it, how to get past it, how to come up and strike where it hurts, how to deliver a knockout punch. Losing does not mean that you're good. What this means is that you lost. But that does not mean stop getting back up and keep raising that bar several notches high. As long as you are striving, keep time pushing yourself and waking up extremely early, fighting the pain and the discomfort. There isn't any fear of making a mistake. You actually embrace failure. That means you raise your expectations so high that when you come short, you don't have to concern yourself with fear. You know that's the target you've got to hit. Now you have to solve it. You have to be outstanding amongst the outstanding you have only scratched the surface.